up guys? So it's the next day. Um, got the LS6 intake on, got it all torqued down. Wasn't that difficult to do. Yeah, now um, we're gonna try to JB weld the oil pan, the part I broke off. I don't know, hopefully that'll work. It'll save me a lot of money and time, so. We'll see. So I'm actually filming this about a week later. Uh, it's the day before New Year's. Um, I haven't done anything to her. Just some life stuff came up and, you know, didn't have time to work on it. Wasn't able to. It's been super cold here. Right now it's like negative five out. Super cold in the garage. Um, we just got some insulation thrown up on this side. As you can see, so that should make it a lot better. Especially with the furnace on. Should keep the heat in here pretty good. But yeah, um, finally gonna get started on the valve springs. We got one done with the AutoZone tool. That thing is trash though. You can only use it to take them off. Not to put them back on. Because they're beehive springs. Um, so my buddy let me borrow this compressor. So I'm going to be using that and uh, hopefully knock these out and get her started up. So a little update, uh, got a couple new springs on, got those, just took those off yesterday, and I got this side. So next I have to put that, those on, on that cylinder, then on cylinder 8. That's probably going to be the hardest one. After that, they all shouldn't be too bad. So I just want to knock these out, and uh, so that's pretty much the last step. Everything else is just uh, putting the motor back together. So hopefully I can just knock these out. Another thing, if um, you're doing the top dead center method, which I am, just like triple check. Make sure that the valve is up. It'll be like this, you can pull it up a little bit, but it won't drop down that much. Um, yesterday, I wasn't paying attention, it wasn't uh, top dead center on this cylinder, and luckily I didn't take the uh, valve seal off yet, but it was, it was gonna fall down if I took it off. So yeah, just triple check your work. Um, valve falls, you're screwed, so just take your time. So I might as well show you guys what I'm doing real quick in case anyone has questions or whatever. Um, so what I'm doing, just tightening this nut down onto this compressor, and that in turn, you know, pushes the spring down. I'm putting the new one on right now. Uh, the key though, just make sure the valve is lined up in the center of it so that you can get the locks on that's kind of tricky but uh just got to keep it centered use a little screwdriver you know move it around and uh just keep tightening it down so i tried to record it but you couldn't really see because i was in the way but uh once you get the once you get the locks on uh you're just gonna loosen the bolt or the nut i mean and uh it'll bring the spring up with it and just hold the locks in place until they come to the top and then snap in. I'm gonna try to let you guys see it, but it's hard to do. I'm just holding the locks in place right now so they don't come up out of there. And just check to make sure they're still in there.
picked up an underhood light right now. Uh, just a cheap Harbor Freight one, but get some decent light. Um, back ones honestly aren't too bad. Just got to put the locks on the very last one right now and uh, move on to the other one. So yeah, cylinder eight honestly wasn't that bad as I thought it would be. Just got to be patient and take your time. time putting them on I'm doing cylinder number four now got done with the back honestly like I said it wasn't too bad just take your time and yeah I'm just using some brake grease that's just a little tip just put some grease on them and they'll stick to the valve so I just ran into a little slight problem um, since I have this uh, little tab welded on it's in the way of the pickup tube so I can't get it on there straight. Um, not a big deal. I'll just cut it off. But I'm gonna 